Scotty, you mentioned you wanted to be traded to the Lakers, reunited with Phil Jackson. You didn't get that wish. Are you happy to be in Portland? I'm very happy. You know, this is a very young and talented team. Uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, joining the team that's a contender. I think this team has the talent, has the ability of getting to the finals and, and winning. Your departure from Houston was a little heated. Last week on Up Close, Charles Barkley said he was disappointed in you for wanting a trade, that you owed the team an apology. You said that he owed you an apology for coming to play with his, I believe the quote was his fat butt. Your response seemed awfully personal. Why? Well, I, I think that he had taken a lot of personal blows at me over the summer. And, uh, you know, I guess listened to a lot of the rumors about me wanting to be traded to L.A. And I think he just sort of took it out of, out of context. And uh, I didn't feel like that uh, I owed him anything or the city of Houston any type of apology. Uh, I didn't go there and try to demand any type of trade. Uh, I knew Phil said that he would love to have me to play there. And, uh, you know, I just sort of welcomed the opportunity. Do you understand Barkley's point at all? He says he gave up a lot of cash and you didn't give it a chance to come to its fruition with the Rockets. Do you see his side of this at all? No, not at all. Because basically, uh, I was a, uh, a free agent and uh, I was uh, really being sought after by a lot of teams. And uh, I don't think that he taken any type of pay cut to have me to come there. Uh, I didn't tell the Rockets organization to give up anything to keep him, him there. And hopefully he didn't do it for me. During the course of your responses to Charles, you mentioned that Michael Jordan had told you that you shouldn't go play with Charles. Do you think it was fair to bring Michael into that, or was that a heat of the moment thing? I think it was a heat of the moment thing. Uh, I didn't exactly bring him in it. Uh, I think Michael made that comment publicly. Uh, it wasn't nothing that he told me personally or face to face. Uh, he made that comment publicly. Did you say those things, Scotty, to force the Rockets to trade you because you wanted out? No, I, I didn't try to force any type of issue. You know, as I said, Charles has taken a lot of blows at me over the summer about the L.A. deal. And uh, I just sort of wanted to, you know, have some type of a response about what he had been, been saying about me personally. Do you have any plans to talk to Charles to try to clear this thing up between the two of you? No, I mean, there is nothing to, to really clear up. Uh, you know, uh, I saw Charles after he had made half of his comments uh, in Hawaii this summer and, you know, he didn't have anything to say about it then, and he turns around a week later and say that uh, I didn't mention anything to him about being wanting to go to L.A. Uh, so, uh, you know, there's nothing really that I have to say to Charles. Uh, our relationship hasn't been all that great, you know, even playing with him. So, uh, you know, it's just water under, under the bridge the way I look at him. He'll go on with his life, and hopefully uh, I'll go on with mine. So does it still stand that Barkley wouldn't get an apology from you even at gunpoint as you stated last week? No, I don't, I don't know Charles an apology and I'm not really looking forward to making it more. I think it's Friday, November 26th. Have you noticed yet when the Rockets and Blazers face each other for the first time? No, I haven't really. Uh, you know, it's just another game. You know, one out of the uh, other 81 games that we have to play. So uh, there's not going to be anything different about that game. Scotty, thanks a lot for taking the time to talk to us. We wish you all the luck in the world out there in Portland. Thanks a lot.